part one. They said, how much to fix a fuel pump? How much they want for a fuel pump? So the part going to cost, the part was like 180 something for a new part. Amazon, $31. Took four days to get here. How, how much labor for a fuel pump? Oh, that's going to be like close to 200 for the labor. It's going to take a while. YouTube, take the back seat off. Unscrew these joints. Snap this off. Snap that off. Save this piece. Clean around. Make sure no debris get in the fuel tank. I'm going to take this joint. I'm going to unscrew this. I'm going to take this joint out. And then part two, I'm going to show you how to put the new fuel pump in there. And it's called, well, you got to unhook the negative battery. Check your fuses. Check your blue relay box to make sure that that's clicking. But I, I, I figure it's this because if you look there, it's burnt. Now, that happens because um, when you're running on E, what happens is it burns the fuel pump out because the gasoline is what keeps the fuel pump cool, cooled. Cool, C-O-O-L, sorry. The gasoline will keep the fuel pump cool and cooled down so it doesn't get hot. It's like sticking your hand in the ice bath or something when your hand is hot, when you burnt your hand. So imagine if you got no ice bath and your hand is burning, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it's gonna burn a hole in it, feel me? It's gonna burn a hole in it. So, instead of me being cheap and just getting the fuel pump, I got the whole fuel pump assembly, not even knowing about this. So, just for you YouTube people and all you YouTubers out there, don't just go cheap and get the fuel pump piece that goes into the assembly. Get the whole entire assembly. It makes no sense to get that when all this costs is $30. This is a Nissan Sentra SER though. But they still work on these South Central R's and the rest of them. It's a SER. It's the top Nissan Central for that year. But they the fuel pumps work on all of them. And for anybody with a fuel pump, that the fuel pump goes in the backseat into the gasoline. Remember, don't run on E for too long because just don't run on E. Because it'll burn your fuel pump out. You, you hear me? It'll burn it out. Only run on E if you have to to get to the gas station. But don't run on E. The fuel keeps your fuel pump cooled down so it doesn't overheat and something like this happen. But to the rescue, YouTubers, do it yourself. You take the back seat off. All you do is lift, and it comes out of these pieces. It snaps, and you pull it back. Pull it out. You unscrew these, all you do is tabs is just, they twist to the side, this comes off. You might need a flat screwdriver to get this off from the opposite side. I pushed it through, snap right off. Be careful because you don't wanna break any of your pieces. You break any of your pieces, now you gotta buy more stuff. Everything be gentle, gentle, careful, careful. You hear me? Then this piece right here, this comes off but what happened was, I guess the car so old, it's a long piece right here. It snapped off as I was, I was being careful, but it's old now. It snapped off. You want to save this piece. This is the clamp that keeps it together so the fuel can come through. Keep this clamp piece. Do you hear me? Keep it. And then my next step, part two, I'm going to unscrew these joints. I'm going to take it out, take the fuel pump out, and then I'm going to clean it. I got my bucket to put the fuel pump in because it still has gas in there. And then we're going to go from there. All right? And hopefully this joint start up. All right, YouTubers. Talk to you.